Welcome to Weld.com. Recently I did a, a cope detail cut on a piece of I-beam into another and I kind of made a mistake and I appreciate you guys kind of accepting the fact that I make mistakes, but <clears throat> in any event, we're gonna carry on with this, with this piece here and we're actually gonna, we're gonna weld it and fill that gap. It's, it's a minor amount of gap. It's in the flanges, I missed the taper. Uh, and I also had mentioned something about flanges don't always come in nice and straight and square. I'm flush over here on this side. I'm, I'm hit that corner, but it's kind of, it's kind of narrow over here. So I'm going to show how to fit all that up. I'm also just going to rake a, a slight bevel across that flange before I fit it up. I just want to clean it, every, clean it up a little bit and we would simulate a field condition and we'll weld this without cleaning anything up. Non-code weld, uh, we'll root it with 6010, run some 7018. Uh, sequence of welds, I'll show you that so that you know you can always get to stuff and clean it with you know on the outside flanges. But quick little demo here on how you'd save something like that. Let's get to it. I built a burn bar here not too long ago. I'm going to show you how to use it or how I use them anyway. Go clean this rascal up. I want to tack these corners up. I want to square it this way. I've got a little mismatch in the flange, but it's not bad. So first thing I want to do is get tacks out here on the corner so I can still manipulate it. Okay, so, you know, again, I made the mistake in the cut. So now I'm going to show you how you can kind of fill this in and correct it or at least save it. I have pre-beveled the flanges top and bottom on the outside up here. I'm going to go in here with 8th inch 6010 and kind of root this in a little bit, fix the little uh, wash into the web here and I want to take care of this gap. And I'm going to bring this over and I want to put a real light root pass in uphill. Overhead do the same thing come out here and clean it it's where I can get to the slag over here and at least fill that gap in and get some material in there and dig deep where I can save this. Again, this is general structural work. First thing I'm doing is running a little bit of material way down deep into the throat of that web where that gap was so that when I start my arc and lightly root this, I can catch that build-up part and fill that hole or void.
I started my weld sequence on the inside here and laced this up and blew through on the back side the the uh, the gap in the in the web to the flange connection that way I could reach in here and kind of rake the slag out of there I'm doing this with 6010 so I can dig and gouge and get this form filled in a little bit now I'm going to show you know because this is filled up I want to come across here with 332nd 7018 and try to get this weld going where it covers the root pass with the 6010 again I have pre-beveled this so uh, you know top and bottom I would be able to get to this the overhead part of it, I could open this up into clean metal and do finish this off with 7018 in the flat and the hor or the overhead position. So I just want to show this sequence in here, and you can kind of get the picture of how this thing goes, just to save a Bob's bad beam cut. I came in here and did this at 100 amps because <clears throat> I wanted to um, I wanted to cover this and it's in the flat and horizontal position. I'm not one to terminate a weld out here on the edge. I try to avoid that at all costs. If I have to, I'll come out and put a tack where I can bump into it and blend. I don't want to I don't want to blow that up with a crater. So I started here and pushed it up into the web flange connection up in here, built my fillet weld, kind of turned the corner. Now I've turned my machine down to about 83 amps or so, and I want to go ahead and do this fillet weld uphill. You can get the general picture of how all this goes. You know, the overhead welding, I would probably start here, come into this, make sure I took care of it, and tie into this uphill weld. Okay, that'll make me pay attention a little bit more and not miss that cut. Again, we went in and we gouged some 6010 in here on the back side, cleaned it up, filled this up with a light root pass of 6010, went uphill, came across, did the same thing, came back over the top of it with 332 seconds, 7018 hot down here, kind of turned the corner, turned our amperage down, tied in, got the fillet weld going uphill. Really no way to get a good brush in there and really make it slick, flicked up, but uh, structurally it's there. We could go in and take a grinder top and bottom, continue into this uh, pre-cut bevel that we have and do those welds overhead. Uh, I'm sure you found this educational, you know, again, I, I got to admit that I missed that cut. It wasn't that bad, but it happens. And that's kind of how you fix it. So. Hope you found this educational. Thanks for subscribing to Weld.com. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.